Hello, Chance here from our corporate hub, and today I wanna to take a minute to talk about the anatomy of modern smartphones. Now, hopefully, once we talk about these very common breaks and misunderstandings, you'll be able to diagnose your phone a little bit better and understand what our technicians mean when they diagnose your device. Let's start with the most common issue on smartphones, a broken phone screen. Now, modern smartphones use two parts to bring you touch and picture. The main part is the LCD or OLED screen that displays the picture on the device. But the digitizer is the part that actually receives the touch and sends that to the processing unit for the phone to recognize what button or app you are pushing on that device. Now, modern smartphones have fused these two parts together. So if one of them does break, both parts will be replaced and will be brand new on that device. So if one of our genius technicians asks you, oh, is it the digitizer or LCD that's having issues? Hopefully this can help clear up some of that. Let's move on to the speakers and charging ports. Now, smartphones mostly have two speakers. The ear speaker, which is what is on top when you hold it up and on a phone call, and the loud speaker, which is what happens when you put it on speakerphone or you're listening to a YouTube video or any other sort of video or TV show. Now, where there's an opening on the phone, things will get inside and these foreign objects will cause issues. The same thing with the charging port. Since it is a direct opening in the phone, things are more prone to getting inside the device and causing issues. Now on the speakers, it can cause issues where the sound is muffled or distorted, or if you're on a phone call, the other end may not be able to hear you very well because there is gunk grime in that speaker preventing the noise from flowing through. Now the same can happen with your charging port. Dirt, dust, lint, anything can get inside there, preventing a connection from your charger to the phone, allowing it to charge. Genius recommends doing a clean and inspect. Our technicians can go ahead and take care of that for you. They will clean out the phone, the charging port, the speakers, but be very careful. The charging port can be broken and the pins can be broken off, resulting in the need for a complete charging port replacement. The same thing can happen with the speakers and microphones if you attempt to clean them yourselves and cause permanent damage. So if you ever have this issue, come by to our Genius store and we'll get you taken care of. Enough with the front of the phone, let's turn our attention to the back side. Now, you look at the back of your phone, you may think, well, there's just the camera there. Well, you're not wrong. The camera does have multiple parts, however, and one of the most common issues that we see is a broken lens. Now, luckily, this lens can be replaced separately from the camera unit as a whole. If you try to take a picture in the camera and it's blurry or cracked, the picture doesn't come out right, it may simply just need a new lens. Now, if it does take a pretty nasty spill, the whole camera unit inside the device may need to be replaced as well. Now, you look at the back of the phone, you just see a color, black, red, whatever color your phone may be, but this is called the back housing and it actually plays an important part in most smartphones. The back housing is essentially what holds all the parts in the phones and creates a nice seal with the front LCD and digitizer that we spoke about earlier to keep all the inside parts safe. Now, a lot of times when the phone is dropped, the back will break as well as the front, and then this can cause issues as well. It's not purely cosmetic. We recommend getting the back fixed because once again, where there are openings, things can get inside. Now, some of these back housings are glass, so they're a little bit more fragile, and some of them are more plastic or metal-like, but we recommend having a case on your device at all times to prevent this from happening. I hope this explanation of some common breaks and issues is very helpful and can help you diagnose what may be wrong with your device or help you better understand our technicians when we diagnose your device for you. If you ever have any issues or questions, swing by one of our local Genius locations in Indiana and Michigan and one of our Genius technicians will get you taken care of.